hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is the look for today welcome back yes i am back and i'm feeling some type of way about myself but yeah thank you so much for sticking around guys it's truly truly appreciated thank you so much for a thousand subscribers big up on yourself i don't think i actually got to tell you that and i'm really really truly appreciative of it i am and i love them love them like cook food love them like cheese patty love them like burr. i'm just saying i'm kind of hungry <laughs> but yeah guys thank you so much for sticking around and um yeah this is the look i hope i do hope you all enjoy the video um yeah Ooh, this cut crease is boss i'm just saying <laughs> enjoy guys gonna go ahead i already had had already based this eye but as you can see it kind of faded out a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and just put a little more all right so to start i'm gonna go in with the what color did i use again yes the zoo <laughs> The Zulu palette and I'm going to go in with and I'm going to be using this right uh, yeah call it right just a little bit above the crease all right so after packing that in good and tight we're now gonna go in with the yellow from the same palette this one up here and i'm gonna be using that to blend the edges out Now I'm going to go back in with the same pink and I'm going to apply some more lightly blending but still patting and blending a little bit. So now I'm going to go in with another Juvia's Place palette and that is the Magic by Juvia's and I'm going to go in with this blue. It's called Yejide, this one right here, and I'm going to apply that right, right, right in the crease crease, like tight crease. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pat it on. I'm using a very tiny brush. I didn't want to use like a bigger blending brush and then it spreads too far and then I can't control after that. So I'm basically using this to control where it's placed and how much is placed. And now I'm going to go in with another brush. This is a smaller tapered brush, a Morphe brush actually. This is the Morphe E17 brush. Where did I put the palette just now? Oh. Yeah, this is the Morphe E17 brush. And I'm going to, why I'm using another brush is because I don't want to get that brush I used first too messy because what I'm going to do is blend this, um, blend out the edges now of the blue. Now this, you can, well, what I do is, some person say you should kind of use some small circles. Well, some person, that's what they do, I should say. They use small circles, or some persons pat the color on and then blend. Now I'm gonna, because this is a small tapered brush, as you can see, it goes up tiny, just a little bit at the top. I can just dip in and then do the small circles and blend the edge of that liner. Now 
So I'm gonna go ahead and blend or pat this dry, not dry, but pat it down. Edge, I tend to use my finger as this works out a lot easier for me instead of just going in and blending the, sh the shade at the edge. Now I did go back in with the blue just to add some of that color back here on the outer corner. Then the shade that I used here was this pink here from the same palette. This one, it's called Koji or Kogi or the K one. <laughs> Um, I went to another part. This is my Deuce palette, also from Julia's Place. And I'm going in with this beautiful purple here. It's called Custard. And I'm going to put that right beside this color. Right beside Koji. Kogi. The K1. <laughs> Then I went back to my Magic Palette and I applied this shade on the inner corner. This is Nubia. So funny. They actually have a light highlighter called Nubia. <laughs> colors on my lid and then I'll be right back so now to the face now I have been loving a primer and this is the cover girl primer this is the smoothing primer so good like I love it I legit really really do enjoy this primer it is smoothing not oh oh snaps My face is green because I had green stuff on my hand just now. <laughs> oh boy. So for foundation today, guys, did you guys know that Black Opal has three new shades added to their stick foundations? Yeah, girl. Yeah, boy. Yeah, you who watching. Yes, they have three new shades. And these are Warm Almond, Sweet Espresso, and Toasted Chestnut. I'm gonna leave a little clip. Uh, I'm gonna insert a clip here showing the shades and what they look like. Yeah, they're really nice. It's like in-betweens of the ones that they already had before. So I'm really, really excited about that. Now the shade I'm gonna go in with today is toasted chestnut that's this one here So yeah, this is what it looks like after it's blended. Look at it, guys. This is a nice little match. It's not, it's it's fine. I like it. This is actually a nice little match for me. This is the other one. This is warm. You would have seen it earlier. I don't have to bug you guys about it. Can I 
highlight with this? No. I already used it on my face, right? <laughs> oh, this is not highlighting, but what this is doing. No, this isn't highlighting, but what it is doing is allowing me to go ahead and conceal. I'm going to use the brush again. Because like I told, that's what I said earlier, creams are really hard to wash out of sponges. <laughs> I'm just saying. I do also have a new powder guys it is the invisible HD finishing powder this is the powder and this is what it looks like now it doesn't have a color so this can actually be used to set your entire face this actually this is actually a mattifying powder Am I right? Yes, it mattifies your face, takes off some of the sheen. Yeah, so it actually does work for that. Trust me, it does. But it's a really nice powder. So what I'm gonna use, it's actually almost similar to the oil. It's actually similar to the oil blocking powder. This is not it, what am I doing? Oil blocking powder. If you've been a true user of black opal, you would know this yes this powder this powder has been boss in my earlier videos i used to use this to set i think my brows and i think i used to use it to set like my concealer before putting on a light i think something like that but i use it i use it a lot it's a really good powder this one yeah it works it really does work it's this as well as this hd one you can actually take them along with you throughout the day to set your face you know to re to like I said, refresh your face. And I'm gonna use that to set. Her under eye. No, me using this, no, this is, this is not what I'm gonna be using to say I'm gonna be highlighting my face, right? I'm not doing that. Damn. Okay, first of all, I've never done this before. I've never used it. Just set. Wow. That is set to perfection though. Damn. Oh, feels good too. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just using this to set the areas that I actually applied the other foundation on just now. It's not playing with that HD quality. <laughs> it's not playing at all. So I'm gonna go in with the medium 400 powder. This is also another black opal powder. Yes, it's a black opal video. Can you see that? Yes. <laughs> I really wanted to try out those for the new foundation. So why not? Let's just go right on in. So this one, it is color. Here's the color. Yeah, they're called the soft velvet finishing powders yes i'm going in with powder again on the eye now this i'm wanting to use now to give myself some highlight damn this is ooh, ooh, damn Now to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with Dark 600. And this is what it looks like. Now these powders set foundation really nice, like, yeah. These powders, these, these foundations can work, but powder should be your best friend to keep it in. 
tact. So again, I'm in another spot. I don't have a clue what highlighter to use. This is what happens when you have too many. So I'm gonna go back in with my Jewish face palette and I'm gonna use that as my highlighter today. Alright, so I'm gonna finish this I know. Yes, this is in milk. This one, this is the Tribe by Juvia's. I'm gonna go in with All right, so for the lips, I'm gonna go in with two Gaia lipids today. These are her glosses. I'm gonna go in with Try Me and Oh Well. And guys this is the finished look like it's not bad I just need Kendall Ash Beauty Studio we need to talk <laughs> I need y'all you guys to help me out with these liners these you know wing lines and stuff I see y'all doing the good stuff doing the good stuff I'd like somebody to help me with that but yeah this is the look guys Thank you so much for watching. I think it's pretty. What do you think? Let me know down below what you think. Oh, I love these glasses. I love them. But yeah, guys, this is the look. I actually think this is really, really cute. If I will see you all in the next video. Don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, yeah, the button is down here. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this look. And if it is that you've ever tried the new shades of the Black Opal Foundation. Bye guys.